Hello, Michael here with another Renderman tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Pixar Layer Surface Shader um, and how to use it basically. So essentially what the layer surface is designed to do is layer uber materials, which is essentially your uh, Pixar Surface Shader, on top of each, each other and um, apply different maps to it or different procedurals to it so you can build up a quite a complex shading network based essentially around one shader and I'm going to show you how to do this with a very simple model I've got a little sort of jar thing that I modeled really quickly here um, and I'm going to show you how to make it glass transparent glass and then apply an opaque label to it uh, very simply so first thing we're going to do is select our object. We're going to go up to the render man shelf, right click on the ball and select pixel layer surface. Once you've done that, we'll jump into the hypershade editor, which is here. And you'll see it's created this shading network here. Now, just to explain this very quickly, how it's working is here's, here's your primary shader. You don't really use this a whole lot, um, but this is sort of your globals essentially. Uh, the Pixar Layer Mixer is we mix the different layers together and then by default it's got two layers plugged into it. You can plug more into it if you wish by selecting Render Man and just typing in Pixar Layer and then it's this one here that you want to grab and Maya will just drop it seemingly randomly and um, you'll have to find it and then you can just plug it into layer 2 for example. We'll delete that one for now though. So to get this to work the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Layer Mixer and um, you'll see that we've got one plugged into our base layer and one plugged into layer one and this works as a hierarchy so your base layer is the lowest layer and then layer one will be on top of that and will obscure anything that's uh, underneath it essentially if it is opaque and then so on and so forth through the other layers um, so what we're going to do is we're going to disable layer one for now and we're just going to have our base layer and we're going to make our base layer glass so by default diffuse is enabled we want to disable that all your other lobes should be dis uh, disabled by default but we are going to enable glass we're going to turn it to a fraction of one and a reflection of one um, and if you want you can change refractive index I'm going to stick with 1.5 that's fine and the roughness of 0.1 and let's just take a quick render to see what it looks like so as you can see it looks exactly like the glass would look um, if you just did it with the Pixar surface shader um, however, we've done it a different way, a more exciting way. Uh, this isn't the most exciting part though. Uh, the most exciting part is when you start layering things on top of it. So to show you how that works, I'm going to show you the UVs for this object. So I just made this UV layout uh, in 3D coat and then uh, exported it as a 2D image. And then what I've done is I've got this uh, label sitting on top of it. Um, and I'm going to export this as a PNG. Um, it's good to use a file type that supports alpha channels. Uh, that way you can use it for masking. I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to disable the layers underneath our label. We're going to go File, Save As, and we're going to save this as a PNG, and we're going to call this jar label one save I'm going to overwrite the one I already made and uh, click OK now back in Maya we're just going to grab the hypershade editor again and we're going to go into layer 2 now and we're not using the glass we're using the diffuse this time which is enabled by default we're going to go to color and we're going to plug in our new map by going file then open and then your uh, wherever you save it to and it's good to save within your project file, um, your images and all those sorts of things. I will remind you to do that because it just helps. Um, sometimes it can have difficulty reading and writing if you don't. All right, so now we've got our PNG plugged into that. Now if I rendered now, you wouldn't see a difference because um, I re need to re-enable layer one, so I'll enable that. And we'll do a render. And you'll notice that we've got the label, but it's um, become opaque behind it. That's because we haven't plugged the alpha channel into our layer mixer. So we do that by selecting your node for your image. Then we'll use Alt Alpha and we'll plug it into that specific layer's mask. So we're using layer one for this label. Uh, so we're going to use layer one mask. And then if we re-render that, you'll see that our label is now um, opaque but our glass is transparent and 
can turn it all the way around and you can see the label sort of just there on the other side. Now, um, two-sided shading isn't on for this uh, diffuse channel. If we wanted to do that, we'd need to go to the primary node, go to diffuse and make it double-sided and then run the IPR again. All right, I've just chucked another light in so you can actually see it. Uh, so you can see it there being refracted through the glass. Um, and it's just as simple as that. Um, all right, I, finally I will put uh, some dirt on the glass on a separate layer just so you can see how that might work. So we'll just jump back into the Hypershade Editor now and we're going to go uh, Pixar Layer and we're going to get that Pixar Layer node. Uh, I'm going to move the layer, which um, it helps, uh, the label, it helps to actually name these um, layers a lot. So I'm just going to quickly name those. So that's glass, that's label, and this is going to be dirt. And I could do this on the glass layer, but um, just for the sake of uh, showing you how to do it, I'm going to do it on this layer. You could also bump this as a separate thing. Um, that might be a, a reason to have it on top of the glass rather than as part of the glass layer. Um, so we're going to run this into layer ones, which means we need to move layer one down to layer two. So we're just going to move that alpha to layer two, like so. And then we're going to run this material out into layer one. Then we're going to type in PXR dirt, grab that dirt node. We're going to run that into our diffuse color. Um, we'll turn the roughness up and that's enabled. Our glass obviously is disabled and this is in layer one. Yes, it is. Now, if we rendered this, um, you'll see that the glass is not visible. Uh, that's because we haven't created an alpha. So there are parts where the dirt is in fact um, black of color. So first I'll increase the distance just to make this a little bit better looking. And then I'm going to create a Pixar float to float, which is basically going to take our RGB value and change it into a, a number value sort of between zero and one. So our result F, we're going to plug into our layer mask. Now, when we render it, you'll see that it's now transparent again. Um, however, the dirt is sitting on top of it. And obviously the label looks a bit too clean. You could plug this in as a sort of over the top of the dirt or, you know, plug it into the dirt layer, for, uh, into the la label layer, for example, and get some better results that way. But just as an example, I just wanted to show you how you could build up a couple of different layers uh, to get them to work together. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it really. So um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them. Um, if you've got any questions about how you might use this uh, this shader to create something specific, I'll try and help you out in the comments. Um, or if you've got a request for a specific tutorial using this shader, I could give that a go as well. Uh, if you did like the video, however, make sure you click the like button uh, so other people on YouTube can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed because I'm putting out a couple of these tutorials every week for all sorts of CG products. If you want to stay up to date with that as well, make sure you're following on the Facebook link in the description. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.